Here's a quick little video about my 1955 Chevy grill for Pete's Open a Grill Challenge. And as you can see, I've got it pretty much open except for the very top. And the reason for that is there's that bar sitting out there. And that's to stop the hood from falling into the front of the car. But basically, uh, I thin down the back. You know, just turn this over. Thin down the back like that. And remember, I broke that piece off. I ended up gluing that back on. And another thing is, when I was doing that video on Nady's oxyacetylene tank, remember I had that very, very fine plastic wire for, uh, for making the uh, welding rods? Well, I used one of those and I cut them to replace the little horizontal bars in here because I broke one off here and here. And uh, when I was trying to open up this before I realized that it was a pointless venture at the very top, I kind of gouged that up a little, so I had to put one in there. And then here is where the grill ended up breaking. And as you can see, I've managed to glue it back into shape. Now the only thing I need to do is just clean this grill up because it's got a lot of dust and things in it from opening up the little openings. And uh, a couple of, you know, scrapings where I tried to get the knife in there just to flatten these bars a bit. And I also need to cover it with the Molotol Chrome because, of course, that little plastic rod is white plastic and you can see it quite well right here. But overall, I think this ended up turning out pretty nice. You know. Uh, oh, I do have an idea. This little spot that I couldn't paint. Now, according to Pete, now I don't know how this is, would work out, so I'm going to have to uh, see what it looks like on a completed model once it's all together. But this little area, now Pete is saying when you look through the grill you should be able to see the paint in behind. So if your Chevy is painted red and you look through the grill, you should be able to see red paint through the grill. Now I don't know how accurate that is because I've never really opened up the front of a Chevy hood and I, I guess I could put a picture of it up, but uh, I don't know if those inner aprons or whatever are actually painted flat black in there. But let's say they're painted red. Let's say it's like a Chrysler instead, or something like that. Well, in these little areas up here that I couldn't cut through, I could easily paint them red and sort of make it like a chameleon, you know, where if uh, you look through down here, you would see the red of the paint inside, but up top, it would actually be painted the red as well, but sort of chameleoned in, you know, because chameleon is supposed to be able to change its colors. So adding the color in here instead of black, you know, maybe paint that red or whatever, would, I hope, hide that and make it look like you did open those up. Whereas if you painted it black and you could see red through here, that would be the wrong way to go. But if they are painted black in behind and you painted that black, it would match, if you know what I mean. So overall, I think this would work out quite nicely. And uh, I don't know if, like this is the AMT grill that has that little bar thing on the top. But maybe a Ravel one doesn't. Or the other thing would be next time I'd try this, try it for real and not a scrap box one, I could easily just remove that bar off the top and then I'd be able to open up everything. And I just have to find another way to not make the hood fall through. Maybe uh, two little pins, you know, one on each side, like up here and here and uh, paint the top of the pin to look like rubber because I know my Oldsmobile hood it had two little pins with rubber biscuits on the top and that prevented the hood from falling down lower than you needed and those are adjustable so you could unscrew them and lift them up so maybe if I did like a 125th scale version of that I could have the hood resting on those two little rubber bumper things instead of like the entire front of the hood resting on that bar and then that way I could open those up so those are the two suggestions I have, either chameleon painted up here with the color that you're going to see through the grill, or remove the bar and add those little adjustable biscuit things, I'll call them, up into there. But overall, I hope you like that, and uh, I guess I will paint this with a Molotil chrome pen and maybe show you what it looks like.